Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. It is lovely to have your company again today. And I have to say, I am so sorry that I haven't been here for a long, long time. You know, sometimes life throws a spanner in our best laid plans. And that's what happened to me over the last few months. So I do apologize, but I'm it's all good now. And I'm back here with you and I'm delighted that you're here with me as well. <laughs> so I've made a few notes because I don't want these videos to go on too long. Today I want to continue my series on voice and in my previous video I looked, I promised to look at how we interpret songs and for that I look at what Adam Lambert, the amazing Adam Lambert does with his wonderful voice together with what I know of song interpretation. So, of course, there are several very important elements to consider when we interpret songs. And we've already looked at sound, the tune of the song. So I hope you had an opportunity to listen to the sounds Adam uses uh, in song interpretation. And um, I'll link that video below this one in case you missed it. So the next element for us to look at is diction. And I'm sure you'll agree, all of you, that Adam's diction is extremely clear. I have spoken about his diction before, but as this is part of a series, I want to go through each element and I hope that that's um, acceptable to you and that you'll enjoy listening to him doing these wonderful things with his voice. Sometimes he uses a kind of smudging of diction to make a song more modern. I'm sure you've heard it. He does it in a lot of songs, but I've chosen a song which I feel demonstrates this perfectly. And this song is Chandelier from his album High Drama. And I link the video below so that you can hear what I'm talking about. I mean, it's there from the very first note in the first verse. And it's not only a way of making the sound very modern, it's also a way of making it his own and it's an interpretative element. The way he glides through the words makes us feel as though he's pushing some important feelings down, kind of hiding them. So it's a very important way of doing that. And then we get to the chorus with his usual clear diction, which contrasts brilliantly with the verse preceding it, not only an emotional content, but also stylistically making for a dynamic, interesting vocal display. And then he pulls the diction back a little bit again in the second verse, though it's still clearer than the first verse. And this time we get the feeling he's decided to move on. He's not hiding anymore. He's about to fly, as it were. And the stunning lower notes of his voice and how he uses his voice here helps us to reinforce that feeling. We can hear that very clearly because here he uses clear addiction as well. And if you listen, you'll hear there's still some smudging, though, in how he pronounces the T's, especially at the end of some words, for example. So it's not a clear T, but rather made behind his front teeth on his hard palate. So it becomes T. Can you hear the difference? Not T, T. And that makes it more modern. It makes it more mellow. It makes it smudgy. I hope that makes sense to you. So in the final verse, we can tell he's on his way forward, one step at a time, as the lyric says, just holding on for tonight. So as I've spoken so much about his diction before, and I wanted to mention it here, and I hope you have been able to hear what I'm talking about. I hope you found this interesting and that you enjoyed Adam's use of diction and the contrast he creates for us in Chandelier. So if this video resonated with you, please like and share it. It means the world to me and my channel. And if you haven't yet, please subscribe so we can spread the love of voice and the superb voice of Adam Lambert far and wide. So thank you for your company today. In my next video, I'll talk more about how we interpret songs and the unique form of storytelling that songs give us. So until next time. Mwah.